It is Friday, so it is time to take a look at what the at the movies. There are two highly anticipated movies that start today. Michael Cook is back to tell us about Just Mercy in 1917. Yes, let's talk about 1917 okay. first. This is from director Sam Mendez. It's set in uh, World War One in 1917, as the title implies. Uh, the basic plot line is these. There you see these two young sh soldiers on the the British side. They are tasked with a mission to go behind German lines to tell their uh, colleagues or compatriots in another battalion not to attack because if they attack, they're walking into a German trap. Uh, the phone lines have been cut, and of course this is pre-cell phone or WhatsApp, so there is no other, way to, <laughs> yeah. to, no other way to get to these folks besides you know these two men going behind enemy lines to, to get to their get to get to the other side and, and warn of the trap. Uh, one of the ways this movie is shot is uh, it's, it's made to seem like it's one single take. Of course, oh, obviously really? it is not one single take. It's physically hmm. impossible to mm -hmm. do a, a two-hour movie in that way. But the way it looks, it, makes it, it takes a moment to get used to because you're, you're so used to seeing a take or a break. But at a certain point, it becomes even more thrilling as there's, it's just action-packed because they're getting shot at. There's snipers. There's, you know, they've mm. got to jump across ledges. There's explosions and booby traps and all the things that you can imagine hmm. uh, in the horror of war we see in this movie. Uh, you see Benedict Cumberbatch uh, and Colin Firth have a few, uh, a few cameos, brief moments in there. But the, most of the plot sent around these two young men uh, in the French countryside fighting for survival to make sure they get there in time to warn uh, the next day of mm. the upcoming attack. So mm. I thoroughly enjoyed this movie. It's getting a lot of buzz. It's gotten a lot of uh, award nominations so far. Probably some Oscar nominations coming up this next week. I give this movie a nine and a half out of ten. Wow. I thought it was fantastic, Whoa, thrilling, really, really enjoyed it. If, okay. if, if you like these, of course, it's, it's, it's a tough movie. There's a lot of violence yeah. and so on and so forth. But It's war. Very, it's war, exactly. Yeah, like, what exactly. do you expect, right? But still very well done. Oh, now, okay. the next one to talk about is called Just Mercy. There you see Michael B. Jordan and Jamie Foxx. Uh, it's based on a true story set in late, 80, late 80s and early 90s. Jamie Foxx's character has been wrongly accused in Alabama of, uh, uh, of murdering a woman. Michael B. Jordan's character, it's a real life character, uh, fresh out of Harvard Law School, moves to Alabama to open up a, a social justice uh, law firm to, you know, to try to help death row inmates who have been wrongly convicted. And Jamie Foxx's character is certainly uh, been railroaded into, into prison. Uh, the movie is part, um, you know, an investigation, part, you know, courtroom procedural, and then also just examining the the sort of institutional racism that put some of these, a lot of these men in prison at this time. The, the performances between Michael uh, B. Jordan and Jamie Foxx are fantastic. It's probably Jamie Foxx's best performance since Ray. Really? It's been Whoa. that long. Wow. And he is just fantastic as a man Ooh. who's just... Did he win an Oscar for that? Uh, uh, he did win an Oscar for okay. Ray. He sure did. Uh, with a man who is, you know, just at his, you know, sort of a combination of at his wit's end and accepting his face believing he can, you know, even he's wrongly convicted, but can never get out of, out of prison. Mm -hmm. uh, this movie is, is, is lovely. Brie Larson there, of course, is, is another character in this uh, movie helping out uh, the legal team. The, the performances, the, the storyline, you know, at times it can be a little bit, you know, paint by numbers a touch because of the, you know, anytime mm -hmm. you deal with courtrooms, there's only so many things that could happen. But uh, I thoroughly enjoyed this movie. Uh, I recommend it, which is why I give it an eight and a half out of ten. Mm, okay. So if it's if it's raining this weekend, you want to go to the movies. You got two good, good two good things to see this upcoming weekend. Okay, cool. All right, thank you very much. Thank you. Let's check in with Rance. Gotta give a shout out to Miss Mary. She said Ranch.